What's up developers, it's Dari here and I hope that you're having a great day because in this video we're going to create a landing screen where visitors will see a full screen background image in Tailwind. Before we continue on, I want to quickly let you know that you can support the channel through Patreon where you can get access to my private Discord group where everyone is helping each other out with their coding issues. If you are interested to join, the link is in the description down below. When you're using pure CSS, it's very easy to add a full background image that is responsive, has no repeat and fits perfectly. And you can obviously achieve that in Tailwind. But it's kind of different since Tailwind does provide utilities on how the image is being displayed, but it does not handle the image itself. In CSS, you need to define the background image with a URL function. And in Tailwind, you can either use the style attribute of your DOM element, or you can create your own CSS utility class. So let's start off by using the style attribute since creating our own class is something for another video. The first thing that we need to do is to find an image. So what we need to do is to navigate to the browser. Let's open a new tab and go to pixabay.com. And in here you can find a complete library with three images that we can use. I recommend you to choose a picture that you'd like. I will just choose a random one. Now we don't want to download the image and put it in the image folder, just right click on it, open the image in the new tab, and let's copy the URL. Now let's navigate back to Visual Studio Code. Let's remove all the classes that we have in our div, since we're not going to use that. All right, now let's add a style attribute. And in here, we're going to set the background-image equal to the function called URL. And inside the function, we're going to add single quotes and pass the URL. Even though we're using the DOM element, we still need to close it off with a semicolon at the end. If we save it, navigate back to the browser, go to our local host tab, refresh it, and you can see that our image is not showing up. Let's check that. Let's inspect the page again. Let's open our body element, and you can see that our background image has been set. And once again, you can see that we do have a width, but the height is zero. So it's impossible to show an image. Let's navigate back to Visual Studio Code. And let me actually align it on the line below. Now let's add a class. Now to make the image full screen, we need to set the image width to W-Full. And the height as well. So height, so H-Full. If we save it, navigate back to the browser. Let me close off my elements. Right now, you can see that we indeed added the image as a full screen, but the image is being repeated. And this is happening because it's making the image full screen and not the parent element itself. And of course, Tailwind has a solution for this, which is the background repeat. Now the default value is bg-repeat. So what we could do is to say bg-repeat in our class, save it, go back to Brave, refresh it, and nothing is happening because it's already a default value. Now there are three options how you can stop this. So let's do that first. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And after the repeat, let's add a dash, and let's cancel the X axis. Save it, refresh it, and as you can see, there is no repeat at the bottom. To completely remove duplication, we could basically remove the bg-repeat-x and say bg-no-repeat. What this will do is basically add no repeat to the x and y axis. Save it, refresh the browser, and we can see our image. What we've done so far was removing duplication and white space, but the image itself is still not full screen. Now for that, we need to do something with the background size. Since by default, Tailwind says background images to auto, so the default size of an image. What we need to do is to set it equal to bg-contain. And this will scale the background image to the outer edges without cropping or stretching. Save it, refresh it, and as you can see, it has been stretched to the bottom, but still not to the right. For that, we need to use another styling. Instead of saying contain, we need to set it equal to cover. What this will do is basically scaling the background image to the right and bottom. So it's making a full background image. Save it, refresh it, and as you can see, the image has been full screened. And whenever I work on Tailwind projects, this is actually the way that I use. It's also possible to specify how a background image should be positioned. 
And to show that, we need to go to Tailwind site to see what the positions can be. In the search bar, let's search for background position. And right here, you can see a total of nine utility classes that you can apply to your background. The properties of these classes basically created to position your background image on certain positions on your website. If we scroll down to the usage part, you can see that you can position a background image to the left top, to the top, right top, and so on. You might think that this is useless since we're already having the background image full screen, but you will see a difference. So let's try it out. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let's add a class of bg-left. If we save it, navigate back to the browser and refresh it, you can see that the position has been changed a little bit of our background image and the focal point of our background image has been changed. Let me show it to you one more time. Let's remove bg-left, save it, refresh the page, and as you can see, it has been placed a little bit down. This obviously depends on what type of image you're using, but you can play around with it to get your vocal point right in the middle of your image or to the left or to the right. The last topic for today will be scrolling in Tailwind. Most of the websites that I've developed have a parallax effect when scrolling the landing page, because it is something that I really like. It has never been difficult to do it in CSS since you only need to set the background attachment to fixed. And in Tailwind, you need to give the class that has the image a new class of bg-fixed. Now we do need to have some content below our image. If we go to Brave, we can scroll down to the bottom. So let's create a new div right below our parent element. Let's create a div and let's give it a class of height so h-4 forward slash 5, which will be 80%. If we save it, navigate back to the browser, refresh it, scroll down, you can see a pretty cool parallax effect that we have created. This was it for this video where we went all over the important topics related to background images. In the next video, we're going to focus on another hot topic, which is padding and margin in Tailwind. If you do like my content and you want to see more, Leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.